I'm really excited about this workout. Like I love handstands, like the strict handstand push ups and the wall walks. And we're excited to snatch kind of heavy. I feel like every workout of the open, I just kind of played conservative. And so I don't want to do that this time, just see how it goes. So it could pay off, could not Let's see. There's no pushing the double unders. I'll definitely breathe there. But um, yeah, just try to, I mean, honestly, I think more time made up on the snatches. So definitely just like kind of picking the bar up maybe before you even feel ready um, on the final bar is the plan. And then just having like at least time, like not on the wall for the handstands, you know, whether that be breaking it up a lot or holding on just as long as I'm not resting too long in between sets. We're looking at it, kind of talking about most of the athletes that we're talking about today is managing that fatigue to get to that last barbell and be able to really finish strong and finish tall. Um, and then, you know, just hit that, those reps with consistency at the end there is really the big thing. That last barbell is where it really comes down to it for most of our top end athletes and maintaining at least just, uh, you know, that cycle rate within 10 to 20 seconds on that barbell. I'm gonna tell Brooke to kind of go a little bit more aggressive and actually with the, oh, this being the open, what we're looking out for Brooke is actually to be maybe a little bit more aggressive than she normally is, as there's really not a lot riding on this one workout. Just so clean, but also was so you know, what was your, just like, what did you feel? Um, I mean, that's the most confident I've been, like, going into the OB workout. Where did you think that's number one line? I don't know, I just, like, each workout, I feel like I was too conservative. Yeah. And I got done, and I'm like, dang, I could have gone harder. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's just take some risks and, like, not feel like that at the end. But it's what where I didn't like paint it. Yeah, you definitely look like that for sure. Like I, I mean, well, I knew wall walks came up. I was like, all right, gonna crush this. But then like you just knew, you just like literally three, two, one, go, and went. Yeah, I mean, like normally I think I would have broken out the heels and crush ups more just to get ready for heavy snatches. They were like, like not even before. Like, it's still on to happen. Yeah, yeah. It, they didn't even look like it affected you. No, I don't think so. Uh, honestly, like if you were to redo that, I think you could eat be that time. Really? Oh, because I think, you know, like, you know what you yeah. can actually feel. Yeah. So, like, if you redid that, like, you were so smooth and there's time for you to actually make up on that. Yeah. But that was so good. That's how good you look. Compare it to week one and week two, I think this is a great test for our athletes, particularly Brooke. I think this gives us a good insight of what to expect with the quarterfinals and semifinals fields. And that's what we're training more so for, right? Uh, she did really well in executing it. There was the two components that she actually wanted to dial in on, but maybe she touched on them. But from a coach's perspective, even as a fan watching her just move through there elegantly, I could just see in her face, she looked composed, she looked controlled. It was just awesome to watch, so I really thrilled about it. I think there's no secret there. Brooke's got big ambitions this year, big goals. We're right behind that. We believe solely in her goals as well. So her, her plan and execution is certainly different to everyone else's. Uh, but what I was most pleased about Brooke then is just how controlled and relaxed. You can see in her double unders, she looked composed. She wasn't thinking about the next move and she wasn't thinking about the snatches at 155. She was just in the moment. And that's what we want to see, that theme or that trend throughout the year to happen. Okay, so I just finished 23.3. That was for sure my favorite workout. I knew when it was announced, like it was going to be really fun. Um, and kind of just going into it, I knew that I wanted to really push this one no matter what um sometimes during competitions i'll kind of like be conservative just to make sure like i don't blow up and today i was just like it's still like the open it doesn't really matter like this is still training and so i just wanted to send it the whole time and just kind of go hard see if i could hang on and 
honestly just see what happens and i think the risks definitely paid off i just tried to hold on to the handstand push-ups um for a pretty long time i think i probably could have gone unbroken but i still didn't want to blow up too bad um, i broke the first one into two sets and the second one into three sets and then the snatches i just went with quick singles on the last two bars to try to like keep my breathing under control and also just keep on moving I think in this workout, a lot of people will rush it and maybe like end up failing a rep or something. Smooth is fast. I'm warming up to redo 23.3. Um, I was really happy and satisfied with my first score, but then reviewing the video, I had a round of 49 double unders. So I'm just gonna try to redo it, get all 50 double unders, and hopefully you have an even faster time. How do you feel today compared to the other day? Well, I'm not, not as fresh. Definitely a lot more sore after two really hard days of training, but I'm just gonna try to use, or just like not think about that, so. Are you changing your approach to the workout at all? Uh, honestly, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. So I try to go like a smidge faster on like mostly everything. I try to cycle a little bit faster. And then also maybe cut one break on the handstand push-ups. Okay, so I just finished 23.3 again. I was very happy with my first score, but I reviewed the video and there was two sets where I had done 49 double unders instead of 50. I actually didn't feel right about posting that score. So I redid it just now. My first score was 720 and my second score was 722. So two second difference, two double unders, makes sense. So I feel like I executed well, I actually, touch and go more snatches, did less sets on the handstand push-ups, but ultimately got around the same time just because I was a little bit more fatigued in the end. Don't like to redo open workouts, but I am happy that I did this one. So I don't have to worry about getting any penalties. Um, and we always learn something when you redo the same workout. So I learned that even though I did push the beginning of the workout more, I had to slow down a little bit in the end. So while well, I redid it. This weekend was so much fun doing 23.3. Even though I had to redo it, it was a lot of fun. Had my mom, um, got to judge her. So really fun weekend. The open's over. My 10th open is done. So moving on to quarterfinals and I will see you guys there. Don't forget to like and subscribe.